Previously on Trails for Daybreak, the party had to do some digging to find Almada's warehouse headquarters. Inside, they had to defeat Eren in order to prevent him from killing the Almada gangsters. However, the Almada bosses, Viola and Alexander, killed their minions and injured Eren. After Eren recovered, he hired a party to help him locate Almada's real base of operations in Longport. I can't believe you're actually using that self. Not even the Zhang Show Resort has stuff often. As Dr. Longkai explained, it's made from a combination of Dragon Bone, Soul Moss, and Divine Powder. When it's applied, it hits all the vital points of the body and injects an abundance of energy into them. The backlash is immense. Are you sure you want to use this? Damn right I am. Compared to the pain my bros went through, this is nothing. I'm gonna put those bastards through hell. If two weeks of rehab is what it takes to do that, then that's a price I'm gonna have to, just gonna have to pay. Well, I can see your mind's set. I won't try to stop you then. Just promise me you'll make it back alive. If you need any pain medication, let me know. Once the self wears off, you won't be able to move for the next half month, give or take. That'll be a problem if you try to join my party. I'll save you through the duration of your rehab. I can promise you you'll make a swift and full recovery, but only if you make it back here in one piece. And I will, Doc. <coughs> I'm not planning on getting any more injuries, and I sure as hell won't die out there. I'll get back on my feet in no time at all, so you've got nothing to worry about. Very well, I'll let you be on your way then. But allow me to leave you with some parting words. The truest of threats often comes from the places you'd least expect. Be vigilant of your surroundings, not of yourself. The mist from the last night reminded me of what transpired 40 years ago. The elders had the same thought as well. Don't be distracted by the enemy in front of you, Eren. Sid, I promise I'll get revenge for you, and the rest of the bros. So hurry up and wake up already, please. I want to be able to tell you about how I beat their asses down. Well, it's been fun, but I must be off now. I think I'll hop on tonight's ship and head for the Central East. Elsheim sounds like a lovely place to start. Perhaps after all, I'll challenge myself with a trek to Northern Vallis. Both spots are a tad unstable, so they're not popular tourist destinations, being they're likely chock full of discoveries to be made. After last night, I realized I gotta protect what's precious to me, and that's the store. The Eastern Quarter's been through some tough times, but my predecessors always pulled through and kept the store up and running. And they passed the torch to me, so I'm gonna make darn sure I carry it to the end. I'll make sure this place never closes down. I must do all I can for them. Mm oh, welcome. I recognize you all. You came here with Ashen yesterday, correct? Aaron, thank goodness you're all okay. We've all been worried about sick about you. Well, you can quit your worrying. As you can see, I'm fine. So, uh, were things okay here yesterday? Yes, everyone in the computer last night, so to suffer are all in harm. Yeah, good here. Everyone was in the fear last night. So, why long face son? Well, I'm saddened by Sei and Huang's passing, naturally. I knew them well. Those two came to watch our performances with their friends many times. They even helped out here from time to time. Damn. Yeah, I remember that. And now they're just gone. They'll never see any of our shows again. I wanted to honor their memory, so we're adding a section at the end of their performance tonight. All of the performers will join in prayer and offer up flowers toward the sky. We're in the middle of putting things together as we speak. You're really going out of your way for them. This all sounds like a good idea to me. Thank you. It's the least we could do for them. Unfortunately, there's one small problem. You see, there's a particular flower I want to use, but it carries a symbolic meaning that's perfect for the occasion. But I haven't been able to find it at the marketplace. Have you considered importing it? I thought about it, but I wouldn't have time to do so before the end of the day. I'd like to do this during today's performance if possible. And I really want to do it with the specific flower I had in mind. Okay, so what's it called? The Spring Lily. Oh, that one. First I've heard of it. The Spring Lily comes up sometimes in folklore. It's a rare flower that grows deep within the eroded cave. Oh yes, we, I think we have a quest there too. Its petals are light green and they glow ever so slightly. Their innocent light guides the spirits of the dead to the heavenly mar, or so the tale goes. Gotcha, I get why you'd really want to go for it now. Do you guys think we can help him? I don't know, we're kinda in a hurry. If we happen to stumble upon some though, we'll try to bring them to you. Thank you, Aaron, I appreciate it. You ain't fool anyone, we can tell you want to do this. But it's not as a, an actual quest, which is weird. So the, uh, the spring lily grows deep within the eroded cave. If you all end up going there, please look for it. Although, I suppose there's a little reason for anyone to head there under these circumstances. We actually conclude this morning's performances about incident. I'm glad people were able to enjoy them as usual. There's no need for you to be concerned with us, Sarah, and do what you need to do. I wasn't worried about you in the first place. You guys aren't the type to lose heart so easily. Heh, <laughs> true enough, I suppose. We all want to see you on the stage again soon. So promise me you'll make it back safely. Sure thing, I'm already, itch already itching to make my granny turn. We know have things to take care of. But we believe that when you finish your business, you'll come back to the stage and take the world by storm once more. People are raving about my sword dance. 
I just tried following my instincts this time, and I end up performing better than usual. I'm finally ready to challenge you, Aaron, so don't go and get yourself hurt out there. Alright, tough guy, you're on. Till then, keep practicing. You'll need it if you want to beat me. I finally found my own way of sword dancing. That's why I want to challenge Aaron again, and this time I'll win. All the young members of the troop were able to give it their all earlier. Even in the midst of a tragedy, we still have to entertain our audience to give them a reprieve from the harshness of reality. That's why I'm so proud of everyone here. If you're worried about us, Aaron, don't be. Just come back to us safely, alright? Aaron, I'm so sorry about Sei Huang. They were some of the nicest guys I knew. They enjoyed my noodles so much. I know they did, and don't worry, I'll make them sure they're avenged. Gotcha, in that case, I'll whip up the best noodles you'll ever eat and cheer you on. Go get them, Aaron. Teach those assholes a lesson. I've still got my sights set on those gullible Imperials, but with Heiwei on edge, I probably ought to pump the brakes. I might be better off setting up shop in the Empire or Crossbow this rate. Maybe I'll lean on my connections in the capital a little too. Just don't- just run if you see T.O. Let's see what we've got. Tour de Force 2. I got- it just got info that a super strong monster has appeared deep within the eroded cave. Our whole tour business is in danger of getting shut down. I hate to ask after what happened yesterday, yesterday but you'd be lifesavers if you took this thing down for me. For a show. I heard there was an incident at the port. That's not good. Back-to-back -back crisis will lead to a drop in tourism. That would be a devastating for merchants like me. We get most of our sales from them. Where are you guys off to in such a hurry? Oh, you're leaving, aren't you? To fight for a city and for people who are gone now. You better come back to us. There's still so many things I need to teach you to teach me, Aaron. Heh, who the hell do you think I am? I'm not going to kick the bucket, so don't worry. I'll be back in the gym. Just once the bad men and women are toast, you and I can do some training. Okay, I'll hold you to that. When I think about what happened yesterday, I get worried about more people dying. But I know you won't lose, Aaron. I believe in you. Now go be up the bad guys. Show them what you uh, show them that you don't mess with us. Last night, an older customer told me a little-known fact, and I think I should share it with you. Everything that's transpired in the last two days has been eerily similar to the commotion in the Eastern Quarter four years ago. Apparently, Heiwei is going to handle it, but I don't know how. This is also confusing. I couldn't find any info about the mist, but I did learn an interesting tidbit about something unrelated. Apparently, Heiwei did some covert antiquities training recently, utilizing a trade route they don't normally use. I don't want to stick my head into their business any further, but it's eye-raising for sure, especially for after the Harbor District incident. So Amada wasn't the only one looking into antiques. What the hell is Heiwei up to? Thanks for the tip, Jigen. Maybe best to steer clear of this whole affair from here, though. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm not about to go poking the bear. I love taking risks, but not when my neck is on the line. I don't know all the details, but it looks like well, Amada wasn't the only one looking at antiques. Heiwei was too. What in the world could they be playing? I've got a bad feeling about this. On, at the on-site inspection, Detective Dora and I saw the traces of the murder weapons. We managed to get Heiwei to open up about the autopsies of the victims, and we hit the bullseye. Turns out the weapons used by Almada's ringleaders are even more dangerous than we had imagined. They were acquired via a special route. Detective Dart's hunch was right in the money. I thought Heiwei would be coy when answering our questions, but they were surprisingly forthright. Although, it wouldn't be out of character for them to have merely been testing us. Regardless, we'll take all the info we can get. We must ensure the safety of the citizenry by any means necessary. I assume you're looking into last night's incident. Damn right I am. I'm not waiting for Heiwei's slow-ass move. I'm gonna go out there and sell this where you like the guys act or not. I thought as much. Well, I haven't received any orders to stop you, so I won't stand your way. However, I will issue a warning. Heiwei never saves his hand without reason. If they aren't making any moves, it's because the elders already have a play in mind. Thanks for a heads up. But I don't give a shit about what they're up to. It's got nothing to do with my plan to avenge my bros. Understood. I respect your resolve. Then do what you must, Aaron. Why would the elders not want to act? We should get to the bottom of this. Merely an escort, so my opinion doesn't count for much. But I don't care for the way the current elders deal with Aaron. It's worrying. At least Fawn expects good things from him. The strange mists last night remind me of the darkest days of my life. The most awful memories will stalk you wherever you go, and they will only give up the chase once you enter the grave. I heard bits and pieces from Jack and Hal about what's going on. It's definitely put me on edge. But I'm not going to run away or close up shop. I plan to stay right where I am. I'm playing my faith in Jack's instincts. I trust him with my life. Also, if it comes to it, I'm prepared to fight. I may not look it, but I've seen my fair share of battles. Oh, hey, you guys. How are you doing here, Ashen? I'm just exchanging some information with them. Do y'all figure out anything out? Patience, bud. Barely any time has passed since you last came here. That said, I'm starting to piece things together. Thanks in no small part of Heiwei. Really? 
Can you share what you've learned so far? I suppose that can't hurt. After we learn about the storehouse, Jack, uh, Jack Hall and I spoke with the realtors in Langport. The only places that seem suspect are the Metal Lamp Training Company's building and the storehouse. Are you sure those are the only possible hideouts? We're pretty sure. The three of us poured through the contracts over the last few months. Although, I guess they could have purchased the place over a year ago, now that I think about it. I think that's unlikely. If a large piece of real estate was bought and left alone for that long, Hayway would have known about it. What if they ran multiple small to medium properties instead? Hmm, if they did that, then yes, it would have escaped our notice. Even still, I doubt they made that play. While it's true that they could have duped Hayway with the paperwork, the civilians would have known something was up. Most of the small to medium sized properties are in the residential district and the business district. There's a lot of people coming and going in those places. Right, if there was a bunch of abandoned sites all over the place, they'd have known about it. And they'd be talking about it too. No way they'd keep quiet on account of some shithead gangsters. Also, Hayway would know if the people were being threatened. Feels like we hit a brick wall. For a record, when I said I was piecing things together, I just meant I had chucked a few possibilities off the game board. Sorry you guys, wish we had more info to share. No, no, you've all been a huge help. Thanks to you, we're getting closer to solving this mystery. Call us up if you figure anything else out. Will do, just watch your asses out there, alright? Hayway hasn't caught wind of where the attackers from last night are lurking. At least not as far as I know. Personally, I'm willing to bet the elders have figured something out. But in case I'm wrong, I'm going to lay out all the information I have on hand and try to come to the conclusion myself. If you guys find them before us, then be careful, alright? Normally I'd say hedging your bets and folding would be the best play here. Though now that Aaron's being honest with himself, I think it's time we go all in. Sometimes you can't take a step forward unless you're willing to shoot for the moon. That's why I'm with you guys till the end. Aaron's finally made his decision, so I want it to be useful. I wish I could have done more though. But it sounds like you guys are on the cusp of cracking the case. This is just my intuition speaking, but I think we might be better off looking at this from a different perspective. And Aaron's might be the ace in the hole we're looking for. The preparations for a funeral are complete. It will be held tomorrow. I hope that this ceremony will give the people some much needed comfort. Yeah, give my bros a good set off. I want them to go on their journey in peace. I plan on selling the score before then. Very well, just leave things here to me. It's our job to put the people at ease and provide guidance for lost souls. By the way, am I the only one who felt like the older civilians were familiar with last night's strange phenomena? Now that I think about on it, I believe my predecessor mentioned something about a taboo. So... I finished my funeral arrangements and greeted the families of the deceased. Tomorrow we will be sending them on their final journey. It will be an open casket funeral and there will be time for you to come up and say your goodbyes. Please come back safely, Aaron. Your friends would want you to be here to, uh, here to see them off. O oh, Heavenly Mother, have mercy on us. Please calm the tyrant's rage. This must be our punishment. Longport. Longport is... Uh, you okay, pal? What's with all doom and gloom? Man, Aaron, oh, it's just too cruel. You shouldn't have to bear the weight of our sins. Why must you suffer for our wrongdoing? Everything's going to be okay, ma'am. No one here is suffering. That mist brought back memories from that horrific day four years ago. I'm certain his fury has rekindled due to the taboo. This is all divine retribution for our sins. I'm so sorry that you all will pay for the price too. Okay, I'm totally lost. What do you mean by taboo and divine retribution? It's, um, I mustn't say. The seeds of abominable history will be buried with us. It cannot be passed to the next generation. I don't know, that sounds like a r way to repeat history in some cases. Okay, well if you don't want to share, we won't force you. It's just like with the Hamill incident. In any case, we'll take care of the mist. That's right, we've even gathered a few leads on it. You can leave it to us. I'm not going to let anything happen to the sea. So keep your chin up, pal. I can't stand seeing you like this. I understand. Thank you for re reassuring me. You've grown up so much, Aaron. You remind me so much of her when she was younger. Promise me you'll be careful, okay? I feel like you can only cover things up for so long before they come back to bite you. You and Aaron are the most dependable youngsters I've seen in a very long time. Don't let the sins of the past hang over you. Just look forward and do what you must to protect our city. I hope you take that to heart, Aaron. Stay calm and face what, that which lies ahead. I believe you can overcome this without losing yourself. Yeah, on one hand, revealing such dangerous information can send people into a panic and lose hope in their country. On the other hand, it might be good to, actually, to publicize the information so that people will know not to repeat such mistakes. Store. I heard about the incident at the harbor. It's so awful. Just when I thought that the racial terrorism was a thing of the past. I hope this all comes to an end soon. I want the customers to feel safe while they're in our department stores. Evidently, there was another incident in the harbor district. 
Given everything that's transpired, I'm worried that there will be pressure to clamp down on weapon sales. And just when they were on the rise. We hope. I can't believe we were hoodwinked by Almada. They had a dummy company in the, har in the Harbor District all this time. Those always spell trouble for non Kowloon group companies. The 10 issues are alone are a headache. People in the finance and real estate sectors are going to be even more wary of Almada from here on. If they keep pulling stunts like this, it'll start having an adverse effect on the economy here. If you're looking for fun, you just missed him. He left with Ashen a few moments ago. I don't know where they are headed, unfortunately. It sounds urgent. Oh, Fawn did ask to deliver a message to you. He said, thank you for all your help. <laughs> Every one of the gangsters who was at the harbor has passed. This isn't how I wanted things to end. Although, it's hard for me to imagine that that was all of, or, of the gangsters in Langport. The numbers just don't add up. I doubt Omada would hide any remaining grunts, given how disposable they clearly are to them. But perhaps they found another way to use them. Elaine is operating independently at the moment. When you're an A-rank bracer, sometimes it's more effective to go out and investigate on your own. The other two bracers here are following her example. We'll find the location of their hideout by dividing our and conquering. Eastern cuisine is Evidently, there was some trouble at the harbor. I'm worried about everything that's been going on to sea, but that doesn't mean I'm going to pack my bags and leave. I'm going to keep working for Kuano as usual. I want to help him see this mission through. We'll just have to believe that the bracers will keep us safe. After living in Longport for many years, I've come to realize there's more conflict here than Long Lai. However, this is the first time there's been so many incidents in a row. I'm concerned about where we're headed, but now's not the time to fret. I'll put my faith in the bracers. My pasta is working its wonders. I've had a slew of Easterners laying up at my stand today. Looks like they all want a change of pace. It's a new comfort food. Now's the time for pasta to shine. Thank you again for yesterday, Yao. You've grown up so much. You're welcome, Mommy. Thanks for playing with me. I'll let you get some sleep now. You need a nap. Nap. Oh, huh? oh I think I'm okay. I'm wide awake. Are you sure? You threw your pa uh, pouch instead of the ball. I think you should hit the hay. What? But my pouch is right here. Ah! Maybe I need some rest after all. Have a good nap. Oh, and here's your pouch back. <sighs> I can't believe I threw my pouch instead of the ball. I guess I'm a little drowsy today after all. It's a good thing I have a son who always looks out for me. I don't want mommy to push herself too hard, so I'm gonna let her sleep. Otherwise, she might conk out while we're hang home. Things are back to normal around here, so I'm not as depressed as I was this morning. Glad I didn't call in sick. Doubt that thought even crossed the pasta guy's mind, though. He has so much passion for his job, and I'm just here for my paycheck. People my age will never forget that horrible incident all those years ago. I was just a bright-eyed youngster back then, but due to the reconstruction, I was blessed with many opportunities for prosperity. In fact, I may have only been able to ride the waves to the top due to the turbulent tides of that era. Hmm. Oh, hey, Aaron. I'm glad to see you're all right. I was worried when I had heard you disappear this morning. You look calmer than I expected. So, do you guys see my request? Yeah, a strong monster popped up in the eroded cave, right? Is it different from the giant crab we beat yesterday? Yeah, the current's changed today, and the tide has dropped. A new route should have opened up. And that's where the monster is roaming now. That's concerning. Yeah, we can go check out and search for the flowers. Uh, those flowers over here. There. A bunch of smaller monsters appeared once the big ones made ho its home there. We can't do any chores there until those beasts have been exterminated. Got it. Sounds like you need this job done soon, then. I know I, I'm asking a great deal of you, and I'm sure the timing isn't ideal. So there's no hard feelings if you can't take it on. Only do if you have the time. Okay. Now we can go back to the cave. Oh shoot, we can't actually use the... Uh, 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 we can't actually use the uh, previous uh, checkpoint. That was near the old boss room. Looks like the bridge is down, and the tide is out too. Huh, you're totally right. So what does checking this do? Bridge has collapsed. Well, I don't think we'll be crossing this anytime soon. Yeah, we can only use it during the high tide. We'll have to look for another way around. That looks like a nice chest. Hit point two. Be careful. That thing looks mean. Oh my goodness. That... There, I'm on it. Yeah, that's only for ranged attackers. Attack available. <laughs> What do you say we rough him up a little? This could 
get tricky with so many. First time <laughs> activating shards. I aggro that'll tell you guys. Oh man. Certain arts will be more effective. Hmm. Show me what you got. Why is this? Is that fish seriously weak to water? What? Be more effective. Flames protect us. I'll get them all at once. Certain arts Activating will be more drop. effective. Hmm. You Got a whole slew of them. Activating Time skill. for the main event. <laughs> Vandalize. Raid. Boost gauge limiter unlocked. Make it count, Aaron. Okay. <laughs> Have some more. Ha! Here goes. Hmm. Going all in. Activating Blink skill. You'll miss it. Soar for me. Soar for me. Boost gauge limit crushed. Okay, that kind of worked out. Off me, right? That was uh. amazing, Aaron. Marble bracelet. Hold up. That enemy's tough. Entering battle. Could use a charge attack you now. Stay calm and work through it. Down. Attacking target. Super delayed, but oh my god, I didn't even get much off. Good time to boost. Time to go all out. Keep it up. It's working. Cypher, activate. A boost would work here. Blaze! Breathe on to us! There! A chance! Activating Blink skill. you'll miss it! Six. Boost gauge limit crushed. Activating... Ow. Boost gauge limit crushed. Topaz ring. Lower this bridge. I mean, Slyer in case I need it. <laughs> nice. Back to work. Tear all bomb. <laughs> Honestly, I like Aaron's field attack way better than Vans, even if he is a little weaker in terms of stats. Just because. There's a lunging thrust that's, that allows me to slightly approach the enemy. Yes. Without having to actually do a dodge roll first. Oh, I can actually head across to the other side to get the other heal point, huh? I've never seen these boxes before, huh? There's so many... It's just a bunch of boxes for the sake of being boxes, I guess, if you wanted to just... Get ram stuff and fill up your CP. But other than that, it does not seem super useful. I guess it does help preparing for the next big fight, though. Weird. A fearsome foe is prowling around. Deploying shards. Use a shard boost to get the other Give them your all. Think fast. Take this. Resist, good. I'll take you on. 
You might want to start moving around a bit. Certain arts will be more effective. Time to go to the right. A boost would work here. This'll hurt! Let's party! Hmm. Flames! Breathe on to us! Aaron! Now's a good time to boost! Time to go all out! Uh, there! There! Yes! This is gonna be a long day. A boost would work here. Keep it up! It's working! Zypha, activate! Got your number! Chance. Hmm. Use a shark boost to get the upper hand. Okay. Time to go all out. So I have my defenses up and a lot of hit points to get through. Let's party! Just in case, I'm gonna Earth Guard you too. Zypha, activate. Initializing drive. Go time! Okay. Now's a good time to boost. Fortunately, Aaron kind of sucks at anything related to arts, huh? Going all. I don't even know what some of this shit does. Insight. Time to Send go. You fly. All right. ah! <laughs> Delay! Oh shit! Do your worst. I don't want this guy any. Maybe I should have Aaron do arts after all. This can't, seems kind of bad, especially if it's an AOE like that. It's working. Going all in. Ah. Yes. Yeah. I'll take that. A chance. You know, the problem with having Aaron up here is that I have to keep him safe too, and that is way easier said than done. Keep it up. It's working. Hmm. <laughs> too slow! All you on, yes! Hmm. Initializing drive. Blinded, huh? Now's a good time to boost. Sucker! Perfect chance! Damn it! it he he didn't counterattack. Hmm. Now I can. While well, he's buffed up. Hmm. Going all in. Zypha, activate! Yeah. There! Hup, yes! Here goes! Hmm. Use a shark boost to get the upper hand! I better throw in some coins. Show me what you Now you old Over here! All for you! <laughs> Oh, I'm going to have to make sure I get a little... Stay within range. Be more effective. Right. Initializing drive. A boost would work here. Going all in. Flames. Now's a good time to boost. Zypha, activate. Yeah. Got you. Here goes. Activating Out skill. Bang, bang, bang. Soar for me! Phoenix Dance! Boost gauge limit crushed. There! Hup, yes! We're down! Here goes! Activating now skill. Boost gauge now limit crushed. Now you old fart. Okay. 
Yeah, S boost does not fill up fast enough, unfortunately. I got a few extra bars off that, but it won't be much. Hmm. Good luck. So if my hate up. <laughs> Too slow. Hit him fast, fairy. Fairy still has plenty of EP to work with. Let's extend your damage up buff. Please. Initializing drive. This'll hurt! Blaze! Breathe on to us! <clears throat> there! Yes! Here goes! Okay, I don't have enough- wait, I do have enough for her, but can I get away with not using it is the real question. Damn. Cypher activate! Let's party! Uh, yeah. Thanks, pal. Here goes! Hmm. Initializing drive. <laughs> You'll pay for that! Okay, this thing is still going strong. Aaron's not looking too healthy. Protect us. You just play defense. Problem is, I can't really take advantage of things unless I do this, huh? Hmm. Good luck. Pull out all the stops. <laughs> Sucker! There. There! there. Perfect chance! There! <laughs> I'll take that. A chance! It's dropping my... Defenses, shit. Certain arts will be more effective. Going all in. Okay, hit you from here. Initializing drive. Still have some barrier on. Show me what you got. <sighs> Perfect chance. This'll hurt. You see, I'm a Keep everyone buff. There! Hey, yes! Is that it? Ha ha! Counter! You'll be sorry for that! You'll be sorry for that! <laughs> okay, I'm not getting it. Anything. Going all in! Okay. Time to go all in! Once um, it's low enough, we'll have Van do a double, uh, a back-to-back -back one. Keep it up! It's working! <laughs> have some more! Rise and shine, small fry! Hmm. She... Let's party! Zypha, activate! Huh? Okay. See, let's just use coin bullet just to be super safe. Now you will fart over here. All for you. There. <laughs> ha! Ha, yes! It's go time. It's go time. Now's a good time to boost. Hmm. Going all in. I might as well just use a, a single boost just to keep it from going to waste. That way I can do more damage with my regular ass attacks. Activating skill. <laughs> Have some more. 
Rise and shine, small fry. Okay, small fry, what should we do? Let's party! Okay, we saw some barrier on you, so that should be fine. This'll hurt! Let's just keep up the flaming prayers. That is nice counter. I'll take you on. Keep abyssal flaming. Activating drive. Honestly, let's risk it. Fuck. Good luck. I got two stacks of that. I got. I can do plenty of damage. Keep it up. Give them your all. Time for the main event. <laughs> <laughs> Vandalize! Raid! Here goes! Oh, nice stun! Time for the main event! Vandalize! Raid! Boost gauge, limiter unlocked! Not too hard to deal with if the enemy doesn't have an S craft. Found mercy, even though I showed none. We did it! Whew, that was a tough one, but we came out on top. We're burning a lot of daylight in this place. But I guess it can't hurt to do a little warm up before the main event. We need to look at our flower. What's that over there? <coughs> it's a stone monument and, <coughs> and flowers. Wait, are those the flowers that the manager wanted us to find? Yep, that's the spring lily, no doubt about it. Well, we might as well check them out since we're here. Let's get a closer look. Okay. That's a wrap. Reward deposited! Damn, now that I'm looking at it up close, this stone monument doesn't look too shabby. Look at all the three flowers, they're so mysterious, but gorgeous all the same. This place has a solemn air about it. So it actually exists. I thought the legend was a lot of bullshit, but I guess I was wrong. What legend? If you really want to know, look at the engravings on the monument. It'll do the ex explaining for me. Is it about that hero? In honor of the hero who saved the city and fulfilled the wishes of those who fell in battle. May the souls of the valiant men and women who rose to protect their people rest in peace by the heavenly martyr's side. So it's both a commemorative monument and a cenotaph. These, sen these flowers must have also been planning here to honor them. Sounds like there was some kind of battle here. Do you know if that's the case, Aaron? Yeah, there were some monsters running amok in this place a few decades ago. A powerful demonic monster made its home here and a bunch of smaller guys joined it. It used the wind to whip up a storm on the wars, which caused all kinds of accidents and disrupted the fishing business. Dozens of warriors came to challenge it, but they were all slain. And that's where the hero comes in, right? Yeah, after seeing the body count rack up, they decided enough was enough. Not only did he send that monster back to the way it came, back the way it came from, he helped the city get back on its feet. This monument was built as thanks for all he did. That all matches up with what the tour guide told us. Wait, you already knew the story. Why the hell didn't you guys stop me then? I wanted to hear about it from your perspective. That was a neat little story. Well, we should probably get these back to the client. Want to grab a handful of them? Yeah, sure. Obtain spring lilies. Yo, we got what you asked for. Delivered spring lilies to manager Hyren. My word, these are indeed the genuine article. Thank you so much, everyone. But I can't just take them for free. Have these. Purifying Spice. Hey, we didn't do this for a reward, but uh, we'll take it anyway. I would have loved for you to join us in tonight's show, Aaron. But I realize now's not the time for that. I promise you that we will pour our hearts and souls into this performance. We're saying Huang. Right, take good care of them, alright? Of course. I'm happy for Aaron. Me too. Hopefully this will help take some of the weight off his shoulders. We're holding off and reopening tours for a while longer. After hearing about the incident at the port, I decided it'd be best to try to the people's safety, even if we lose money in a short run. But I don't have any issues with running a boat to you guys, just say where the keys are yours. There's been even more murders, I can't believe it. I feel for the victims, if I find out that, out that Heiwei was involved in any capacity, then I'll bust her, down their door. Those murders never would have happened if Heiwei was out of the picture. They attract criminals like flies and manure. 
I heard there was a mafia-related incident at the storehouse. Not that it matters to me. It's been a pretty big nuisance, so hard to do anything, much of anything with all these cops and racers buzzing about. Ballstorm's task of time. The murders just keep happening. The antique sellers are all terrified, and I'm right there with them. I'm not sure if the Mafia is responsible for all of this, but if they are, I really hope someone clears them out. I heard about the murders at a storehouse. There was a similar terrorist attack in the harbor located in the northeast part of the Republic. Seeing two of Calvert's harbor cities come under fire is definitely nerve-wracking. More, uh, more and more trading companies are turning to that private military company for protection. I don't really blame them, but knowing who their primary investor is, I can't help but feel wary. After what happened at the storehouse, I want to strengthen security even further. Thankfully, the people above me agree. They seem adamant about working with the police now. Wait, what? Some of those gangsters were killed? Why is this the first time I'm hearing of this? What the hell have I gotten myself into? Damn it, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't exactly go crawling to Hayaway for help. There's been more murders than they occurred here at the harbor. Goodness me. Well, I suppose it's time for us to go into crisis management mode. These, those terrorist attacks don't appear to be slowing down. I'm surprised that you're already out and about. Shouldn't you be resting? Now, I got myself a quick fix. It'll come back to bite me later, but I'll deal. So what's going on with you? Y'all wrapped up your investigation? For the most part, we didn't get much out of it, unfortunately. Um, are the gangsters? They didn't make it. That's five more lives claimed by Almada. Oh. Like Giacomo, they chose to step into the darkness, and they got swallowed up by it. That's just a natural consequence of following that path. No need for you to feel responsible for what happened. Van. I know, I can't afford to dwell on this subject any more than I already have. There's something else that's been barring me, though. The numbers just don't add up. Yeah, I noticed that too. What are you, ta what you talking about? They must be referring to the total number of gangsters. No way last night's murder spree was done only by five random thugs. The storehouse is pretty big. I think some of them might have been hiding in there. Doubtful. We searched the place from top to bottom. They must have had. Uh, they must have another hideout then. The guild and the police came to see uh, uh, the same conclusion, but we have no idea where it might be. We're in the same boat then. Almaz managed to fly under Hayway's all-seeing radar, so we don't know Jack. It's almost like they vanished without a trace. I don't even know if most of Almaz was actually here. We've only seen those two executives so far. If they really plan going to war with Hayway, they're going to need much more manpower than what they've shown. A handful of part-time gangsters won't cut it. Regardless, their lack of activity is certainly a cause for concern. If the war on Hayway thing is just a smoke and mirrors bullshit, then I, it all makes sense. Perhaps they intend to send them on wild goose chases, chip away the world of fight, and come in for a kill. That sounds like something they do. If my theory is correct, then I don't think Longport will see any more large-scale attacks from them. Even if you're right, I still can't let things end like this. Those murdering bastards crossed the goddamn line. I'll make sure they pay for it. Aaron. Well, we can't do anything until we get more leads. I'm going to reach out to my contacts and see if they found anything. I'm not going to tell you to stay out of this, but try not to do anything crazy, okay? Well, guess we've hit a dead end. Elaine seems like she's at a loss as well. And she's no slash when it comes to investigating. So if even she's having trouble tracking them down, then I'd wager they're hiding in some place that outsiders like us wouldn't think of. Guess it's all up to me then. You can count on me to carry the team. Good, because this whole thing's riding on you now. But Van might already have a hunch. Who knows? You're free to investigate the storehouse as long as you're quick about it. We have a forty other crime scene, at least for the time being. Presently, we're trying to track down the Almada executives. If you learn anything, I'll be happy to exchange information. We're looking into the transportation network as well as any suspicious companies that may have ties to the Mafia. In doing so, however, the force has been spread too thin. That's why we're working in tandem with the guild. Our efforts align with their goal to protect the citizens, so they're happy to work with us. Requesting an ID check. ASAP. We just finished inspecting the scene, and all the bodies have been collected as well. Hey Aaron, I'm sure you don't need me to tell you this, but Almaz's leaders are bad news. I'm almost certain one of them is former military. You're not on their level yet, so I want you to. You better not be telling me to stay away from them, because I won't hear it. I know they're stronger than me, but those bastards are tearing up my town, and they murdered my friends in cold blood. So don't you dare tell me what to do. You don't understand jack shit about what I'm going through. Excuse me? You think I don't understand? Well, guess what? I do. You're not the only one who's pissed off, you know? I wasn't trying to tell you to stay away from them. Um, I was going to tell you to be careful. 
If you throw caution to the wind, you'll be playing right into their hands. Who would get justice for your friends if that happened? She's got you there. I understand how you feel, but it can't hurt to keep her advice in mind. Fine. But it doesn't change what I have to do. Thanks to Calvin and Hornet, the police and racers are working together. The cops are handling the rest and are searching for Alma's whereabouts. We'll handle things from here, Spriggan. You go kick butt out there and try to keep Aaron out of harm's way, alright? Aha, I found you! Here we are again. Here we go again. I've been looking all over for you guys. Yeah, why? What do you mean, why? Because of what happened in last night, of course. I heard you guys arrived at the scene super quick. I want the full lowdown. I'm not leaving until you give me all the juicy details. Uh, who the hell is this chick? She's a reporter lady. Gotcha. Word of advice, little girl. You should stick your nose someplace else or you're gonna wind up hurt. Little girl, all of you know I'm 21. Wait, are you seriously older than me? Damn, girl, you're rocking a real baby face there. Anyway, it's my duty to find the truth and report it to the world. So I'm gonna stick to you like glue until I get a story I can print. I wasted all of yesterday pursuing a dead lead, so I've got to make up for lost time. Yeah, that was definitely on us. I'm also just curious on a personal level. That miss that last night was so unsettling. Maybe it really did come from a ghost ship. Wait, what did you just say? Huh? I just... I said the mist was unsettling. No, the part after that. Oh, I was wondering if the mist came from a ghost ship. Why would you assume that? When that mist showed up, I peered out the ocean and I could just barely make out the silhouette of a ship. I couldn't find any other witnesses at the harbor. But I know what I saw, and it was totally a ghost ship. There's also a legend about it. The crew of every merchant vessel that crosses past of a ghost ship in the mist will be slaughtered. That sounds scary. I know I'm right. I've just gotta be. There's one teensy little snag in my fury, though. The ship was kinda small. It's far cry from the giant hulking ghost ship I imagined. That's not the only snag. If it slaughters the crew of every ship it comes across, no one would've, could've lived to tell a tale. So how'd the story come about? Uh, well, maybe a super amazing reporter found out about it somehow. There's another thing. I believe the mist mostly appeared on land, not the ocean. Are you sure you weren't just seeing things? So I guess it was pretty dark that night. Maybe my eyes were playing tricks on me after all. Sorry to burst your bubble, but we also don't have much to share about the incident last night. Might be better off poking the cops or the bracers. Oh, fine. I'll let you off the hook this time. But if you happen to find any leads, please let me in on it. This is my time to shine. When this story lands on the front page, Dingo will have to take notice of me. Okay, that time you really did lie to her, man. That's not right. Hey, if you ask me, I'm being nice. Even if I did spill the beans, she wouldn't have been able to report on the info. It's also in her best interest to stay far, far away from the Mafia. I guess I can't argue with you there. Anyway, you look like you're having a light bulb moment, Aaron. Yep, her story helped me put two and two together on something. Well, don't keep us in suspense, sure. Fact of the matter is, there shouldn't be any ships out in the bound Longport at night. I can count the number of times I've seen that on one hand. And if the people at the harbor didn't see it, then this definitely sounds fishy. Do you suspect the gangsters escaped Longport in a boat? If that's the case, it's no wonder Hayway can't find them. They've had the, their eyes on land this whole time. Nah, I doubt they fled. They have, to, they have to be close by. Probably just waiting for this whole thing to blow over once they, before they strike Longport again. But where would they set up shot? There's only one place I can think of. I think they're holed up on a remote island. Outsiders wouldn't know about it since it's off the map. The old fossils around here refuse to talk about it, but it comes up in rumors every now and then. It's an abandoned mining town called Heilong Chengzai. After they finish asking around, the group can reconvene and consider their findings. Think you've got it? Yeah, those bastards got us good. Picking somewhere us folks in the eastern quarter are so used to seeing that we don't even think about it. Or more accurately, somewhere we were told not to think about because it's supposed to be cursed. Heilong Chengzai. A large-scale mining facility where droves of miners lived and worked until 40 years ago. Yeah, now it's deserted and all you hear about are all sorts of creepy stories. People here grew up being told to stay the hell out of because the place is haunted with ghosts and demons and shit. We learned that those rumors were first spread by the elders of Heiwei. And not even the police or guild would go there because nobody lives there anymore. Makeshift bases don't get much better than that place. For someone who doesn't like sniffing around, you've got a hell of a nose. Nice work, kid. Heh. Fancy running into you again. It's the red something. What's with the shades? I wear them to suppress my natural charm. Though, since you recognized me, it seems my star power is undeniable. 
Who's this guy? I think he is. Wait, this dumbass was at last, last night's show. Hold the phone. Is that Aaron? It's, it totally is. Figures we'd bump into some fans eventually. Come now, girls. You'll make me jealous if you stare too much. Oh, uh, we didn't mean to, Maxi Poo. We only have eyes for you. Well, I'll admit he's not too bad, but that doesn't hold a count on me, naturally. Wait, why do I feel like I've seen your face be somewhere before? Gee, I wonder. He totally has no clue, does he? Imagine if he knew the girl he was ca catcalling at the theater was Erin. No time for pondering. We're about to set off on a little adventure, you see. That dorm reporter took up so much of my time yesterday that I've got to make up for lost time tonight. Ah, uh, that sounds rough. I know, why don't I treat you girls to a nice dinner when we get back? As for men, well, I'm sure we can spare some schnibbles. Store your engines, ladies. I've got to show off my wide array of driving skills on the way to the sea cave. Really? Wait, he's going to the sea cave? What? You're the best. He's going to the, uh, that, that monster-infested cave? Guy's got a boating license, I guess. Funny that we're kind of headed that way, too. Or is he headed to the mining town? The two places aren't that close together, though, so I doubt we'll run to them again. Oh, he's going to the uh, uh, to the cove. Right, I hope they don't have any trouble with the monsters. Man, yeah, they'll have a guide. Let the blind idiot do his thing. Sorry, the guide knows some Gekka. We've got to focus on Heilong Cheng's eye. That should end today. I'm coming on you, Van. Of course, what about you two? We're coming too. I have a feeling my other goal might be there as well. Once we're ready, we should hurry to the dock. Well, you best be ready for anything, got it? Final preparations, huh? Man. I don't know how, what else I can do to prepare. Like, uh, I really do not like being stuck with only uh, first uh, tier one uh, quartz for the higher elements. It feels like I'm not able to unlock the full power of my skills. Guess it's possible I was just seeing things. Wait a minute, isn't Melugia Archipelago just across the sea? There's a rumor about pirates being there. Maybe I was right all along. If there really is a ghost ship around, that'd be the one heck of a scoop. <sighs> We'll, never, we'll need to talk with the ferryman and see if he'll let us borrow a boat. I can handle that. Now travel to Heilong Chengzai. Alright, before we actually go to the mining town, I think it's a, it's a good idea to go to the Eroded Cave first, so we can actually trigger an event like this. Looks like there's a boat headed this way. Oh, you're right. And Maxim and the hostesses are on it. So they're back from the Eroded Cave, huh? Doesn't look like any of them are hurt. That's good. Just because we defeated the big monster doesn't mean it's completely safe over there. Right. And... Does anything come of this? Sigh. The moment we set foot in the Eroded Cave, we got pounced on by monsters. We must have the worst luck in the world. I just wanted to go on a little adventure with you, Maxim, but instead we got chased around by a bunch of creepy crawlies. Wait, don't you have a tour guide who can fight those? Gekka style? At least I managed to keep you both safe from harm. Too bad our evening plans are in shambles. We may have a boat, but we've got nowhere to go with it. Well, what do you ladies want to do now? Hmm, let's see. Oh, what about that other island? We could go there, maybe. Wait, what? Uh, isn't that the place off limits? Uh, this seems super bad. Oh, is it? Darn, scratch that then. Haha, <laughs> off limits. There's no place in Zamaria that's off limits to an adventurer. You're not an adventurer, you're just a regular civilian. I say we laugh in the face of danger and head for that island. Full speed ahead. Oh my goodness, this guy's... Ugh, I'm gonna have to save his ass. Uh-huh. What, are you serious? Of course, we're going to make this an ocean date to remember. Oh my god, why? It's time to show off my sick boat driving skills. Hope you ladies are watching. We're gonna need someone to bail us out of this hostage situation, aren't we? We're going to be okay, right? I don't know. Huh, you girls are awfully quiet back there. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yes, we're totally fine. Wow, you look so cool when you're at the wheel. Ocean dates are the greatest. Oh boy. That is a nice attention to detail, huh? Yes. <laughs> yes, that Maxim will do something incredibly stupid and show up in the dungeon. Yes. Okay, let's head on the boat for real so we can save Maxim. Yeah, there's not much I can do at t in town anyways. Go to Heilong Chengzai. Evening. Long after Maxim arrived there, huh? So who's driving? I'm happy to do it, but I don't want to hear any whining when I put the pedal to the metal. Sounds like fun. 
Um, I'd prefer if you were a little more careful. You've got a license, huh? If we bomb in at top speed, they'll notice us for sure. Let me show you how it's done. Have it your way. Mind if I tag along as well? Huh? You know where we're going. Hey, Long Chunjai, Almada's base. And if we don't hurry, tomorrow's battlefield. Nice Lupin. I owe the, this hypothesis to yours of the guild. Since you're all here too, it would seem I'm on the right track. No hiding it now. You sure a bracer should be taking this on though? Figure Heiwei wouldn't take kindly to that. Civilians died last night. Our code demands action. We can't allow any further bloodshed, be it innocent or bystander or otherwise. Furthermore, you've chosen to bring ordinary people into this, so I'm going and that's final. We appreciate the help. Hold on, Elaine. I know you've already made up your mind, but we've got to clear this with our client. What do you say, Chief? Yesterday, I saw exactly how strong you really are firsthand. If you'd asked me this morning, I'd have told you to piss off. Now, I'm not about to bat away a helping hand. Heh. <laughs> You'll be a real help. But let me make one thing clear. I'm not some little pup that needs protecting. I've got the weight of the whole city on my shoulders right now. Huh. <laughs> I'm leading the charge here. So you'd better not look down on me, you old... Fro, who's much more skilled than me? Perish the thought. I didn't even see her lose her blade. So uh, aren't you and Elaine the same age? 24, I believe? Yeah, she's a bit more touchy about it than I am, though. There it is. This place is huge. But back in the day, thousands of miners lived here. Is something wrong? You still hurting? No, don't mind me. I think they sense us coming. Fog. And it appeared just as quickly as it did last night. They know you're here. I knew it. And their reaction. Your purse glowed yesterday as well. So anyone want to explain this the, the, to classify it's lighting up like a lantern? Sorry, but that's confidential. One thing's certain, though. Almada is here, no doubt about it. Then it's almost time for a good old-fashioned ass-kicking. Don't be too hasty, we don't know what awaits us. Whoopi Lane finds out about the Genesis. Is she just gonna let us take the Genesis from this location? Yup, Maximus boat. Huh, another boat. Do you think it belongs to Almada? It's nearly identical to ours. Wait a sec. Yeah, this is definitely shows our boat. Don't tell me, did that freaking racer wander in here? Oh no. We saw them sailing away from the island, but I thought they were going back to Longport. Yeah, so they do change the dialogue a bit if you actually tr tried to get the extra cutscene. Then they're either lost or stupid enough to come on purpose. Either way, this just got even worse. I don't fully follow, but I guess some civilians found their way here. And what's more, they're completely unaware of the danger of Finn. Seems like it. I don't know exactly what's up, but let's keep our eyes out for them. Right. I hope they're all right. Elaine has temporarily joined the party as a guest. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Trails Through Daybreak. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.